Hey beer tubers, it's Ryan back with another episode of San Diego Beer Vlog. Thanks for joining me. And we're gonna take a look at another canned craft beer and another IPA in a can. This is Hop Shock IPA. This is from Santan Brewing. This can was sent to me from Jameson, uh, aka Tantrum777 from uh, Jameson's Beer Reviews. Check out his channel. Um, the first can he sent me was a uh, Modus Operandi from Scott Brewing, and this one is Santan, which is actually an Arizona brewery. Haven't heard of very many Arizona breweries, but he's reviewed a few of their beers on his channel. I forget if he's done this one specifically, but he, he has done their Hefeweizen, which sounds like an awesome Hefeweizen. Um, kind of a nice American twist on it. So, uh, all I know is this one's a 7% IPA. It's pouring a really nice head. In fact, so much so I can't get the whole can in there right now, but um, very, very clear. You can easily see the, the camera through there. A lot of carbonation coming off the bottom. It's pretty much uh, kind of just an amber, darker, you know, golden color. Uh, three finger head, uh, medium sized bubbles, slightly off white head. Um, let's get the aroma on it. Um, not the most aromatic beer. I'm getting um, a little bit of like a piney, uh, there's a little malt sweetness coming through, but hop wise, uh, more so towards the piney side and uh, bitter grapefruit. So I'm wondering if they're using Simcoe in this one. Um, or maybe Cascade, probably Cascade. And there's, a, there's a touch of a sweet hot note in there, nothing uh, too distinguishing though. So, uh, good appearance, uh, Roma's alright, let's dig in, cheers. Nice, um, nice bit of bitterness up front, not too overwhelming. Malt comes in to give it some balance. Um, let's say it's just it balances just slightly to the hoppy side. Um, that head's just fizzling away though, unfortunately. So up front, I get a nice kind of resiny, uh, kind of piney notes. There's a touch of some kind of bitter grapefruit note in there. So it doesn't quite follow the aroma, but it's kind of getting there. Um, decent amount of bitterness that you kind of expect from a, you know, an American IPA. It definitely has that up front. And the back end is a nice bready malt, just a hint of caramel, but mostly just really bready, uh, really dry beer for sure. Um, there's a bit of a little more carbonation than uh, normally expect on a, an IPA. I don't know, maybe I'm off on this one, Jameson, but let me know. Um, but this one seems to be leaning actually an IPA maybe a little more to the uh, East Coast side in terms of the hop character I'm getting. Um, just because of the piney, resiny, uh, kind of even earthy hop character you get in there. Like, there's, like I'm not getting a whole lot of uh, like grapefruit, citrus character that you normally get on the West Coast side. So, um, and there's a decent amount of malt in there. It's still hop, still slightly hop forward though. So, uh, Pretty uh, easy drinking IPA. Um, something that, like if you get this in a can, I mean this is this would be a great beer to take with you on the road. Um, it's not my favorite IPA. Um, it's pretty easy drinking though, and so it's pretty solid. So I, I think it's just a touch above average. So I'm gonna go with a B minus for this one. It's it, you know it's not knocking my socks off or anything, but I mean it's a pretty well brewed beer. It's gonna wrap it up for. Hop Shock IPA from Santan Brewing. Uh, like I said, but average D minus beer. Until next time, please comment, subscribe. Cheers.